So in the previous video I showed you how to find the volume of a cuboid and the concept was that if you could find the area of the front face then you could multiply that by the depth of the shape and that would calculate for you the volume. So if you take that to the next level what you need to do is find that volume of the front shape no matter what that shape is multiply it by how long the shape is okay so if you get your front area and multiply it by the depth then you have volume is equal to the front face area so uh, let's say just the area at the moment of the front multiplied by the depth so if you knew that maybe this was um, a tree that had been cut down and this was uh, a length of the tree then if you knew that the area was um, let's say two meters squared and the actual piece of trunk was five meters long so we've got a big tree here then the volume is 2 times 5 so that would be 10 meters cubed of wood okay so that is how we can find the volume of a shape knowing its front face area so that then means that we could also find the area of a triangular prism so if we have a triangular prism, like a Toblerone shape, and we know that the base length is 6 metres, and the vertical height from the base to the tip of the uh, triangle was 8 metres, and that the depth of the shape was, uh, let's say, 15 metres, then what I need to do is work out the area of the front face, the area of the triangle, and then multiply that by the depth of the shape. So the area of the triangle, if you can remember, is half the base times the height. So half of the base times by the height. So half of 6 times 8, 48, so 24 meters squared. So that is the area of the triangle. So the volume of the shape is when we multiply that 24 by the depth of the shape, 15. So 24 times 15, do a little calculation, so 4 5s are 20, 2 5s are 10, plus 2 is 12, uh, 1 4, 1 2, add them together and we get 360, and that will be cubic metres, metres cubed. So, there you are. That is how we can work out the volume of a given shape of a uh, prism. Um, in this case, a triangular prism. But if you know the front face area, and you know the depth of the shape, and it's a continuous shape all the way through, then you can work out its volume very easily.